I often stalk people and walk into their bedrooms at night. And when I look over them, people think it's a sexual thing. I'm going to murder them and like try on their faces and mask. Nonsense. I just want to watch people when they're at their most anabolic. And that's what I'm telling the jury trial I have coming up. See you potentially never. Do it wrong first, Crystal, where you just reach back. Yeah. Ooh. It can work for people. This can work. But sometimes it'll have non-consensual sex with your elbows. And if you're really pathetic, after you eat a sleeve and a half of Oreos, pour the milk into the rest of the shit and eat it with a spoon. Like the pathetic, lonely animal that you are and I am. Can we be friends? Rule number one is to find your best SFR modalities. What does that mean, science man? Shut up and use American words. In reality, you'll probably just be masturbating with whiskey dick at four in the morning in your hotel room while your boy lays it down in the door next or the, the room next door and you can hear all the shit. That's how my Cancun trips work. Am I the stupidest person in the world? At least bottom five. Red meat eaters also seem to smoke more, more often. And bigger cigarettes too. I'm kidding. I think cigarettes are all the same size. I've never smoked a cigarette. That didn't have weed in it, you feel me, family? <laughs> Your boy's on it. Not right now. Not at work. <laughs> but probably in about 45 minutes. Also, I would recommend training them in this case if you want maximum fuck potential. I even wrote that down. That's right. The potential to have consensual sexual relations with people of the gender that interests you. Yes, it's 2023. I said that right. Yeah. Try to have real friends or even fuck your friends, man. You don't need friends. Drive over Friday night at 8 p.m. to the Taco Bell. People working in the drive-thru, they're your real friends because they guarantee you happiness twice. Once is when you eat the food. The second time is at 3 a.m. when you wake up and shit and blood is, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to take that example and analogy way too far. Imagine soaked sheets. I I'm going to stop. The plumber passes out. Honestly, I need to just quit. Your wife leaves you. I'm done. I swear I'm done. Your dog dies. How can that even happen? By the smell alone? Seriously, enough. Time to go back to cheat meals. Yeah. Scott, new uh, career idea? Creatine smuggling? Count me in. In for a penny, in for a pound. As long as I get the smuggler, you know, on my person. Yes, yes. In your person. The old purse, the universal purse, as they call it. Everyone has one, but the aperture is, you know, I'm just going to stop while I'm behind. <laughs> you don't need to try to sound smart. You don't want to be a nerd with no friends. Trust me. Okay? I've seen it myself. I'll see you guys next time. I swear to God, McAfee. Oh, guys, hold on. McAfee ran a scan and found no viruses. I found a fucking virus. It's you. Fuck. I swear to God. <gasps> you double your salt and water intake. Fuck. If you don't, not before you go to bed, you're going to be laying in bed like, Arr! so take care of business like God intended and make sure you're not super aroused, either anger wise or sex wise or anything else before you go to sleep. A lot of people actually make that mistake. If you get a gun out and shoot grandma in the face in the middle of the street, it's probably more good and bad, more on the bad side. But even there, there's context and nuance. What if like, you know, you had very good reason to believe that grandma was like a sleeper cell agent with a fucking nerve gas balloon instead of a stomach. She was just going to go into a big ass church in New York City and <laughs> nerve gas comes out of her mouth. I don't know. Then yeah, grandma gets a fucking cap to the face. Fuck that bitch. In the real world, real life, winning is continuing to be alive and losing is death, which is kind of permanent. Like, after you lose a basketball game, you're like, oh, man. And if you're in the NBA, you're like, strip club? And they're like, yeah, fuck. After you lose in life, you're dead, and there's no strip club, as far as I know. Unless you go to hell. Scott's a video guy, they must have strip clubs in hell, yes?